Hi and welcome to Unprepared Geeks, uh, smart beers by weekly podcast about all things uh, quality. Uh, we'll be discussing quality from uh, the perspective of testers, developers and operations people out there. Uh, my name is Nicholas. My name is Eric. I'm Henrik. I'm also Henrik. Did you get that, Dennis? Yes. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, so uh, we'll get started straight away. We'll, we, the, the purpose of Unprepared Geeks is having a few unprepared topics uh, and going through them in about 15 to 20 minutes or so. So let's get started straight away with Chaos Monkeys. Uh, so I don't know if you guys have heard about Chaos Monkeys, but partly it's a technology, partly it's a methodology. So basically it's for uh, the cloud, if you have a bunch of cloud servers, and Chaos Monkey, uh, which is for primarily AWS, I think, uh, will tear down a server at any given time without warning and a random server. So it's basically in order to make sure that your uh, cloud is stable, things will f it will make things fail and make sure that failover uh, works. But like... For real, in for real, yeah. Okay. It's, it's live service. It's not your uh, whole testing testing yeah. environment. It's your actual live environment. And the idea is, if your uh, server could go down at any time, you'll be on your toes. So, what do you guys think? I really like it. I mean, <coughs> it, it's like uh, from from Agile and uh, where we learn to have uh, continuous and quick deployments. Yeah. This is this is just the natural. Uh, extension of this, mm -hmm. you actually test in production. Yeah. I mean, when you can test in production, what else is there? I mean, you can, <laughs> if if your tests don't fail in production, you're good to go, right? Yeah. I mean, what could go wrong? <clears throat> yeah, mean, it's a cool concept. I, I can I see an uh, analogy with uh, something called like mysterious shopper. I know you use like within stores, so you have some kind of anonymous person like pretending to be a customer and that uh, person makes a review. So it's kind of cool to like simulate a behavior that that you're like trying to avoid in mm -hmm. this case. Yeah. Uh, so, but, but I think also it's kind of interesting, um, like where lies the responsibility for the like server, like the, the level of service is yep. that at the hosting company, Amazon, for instance, or mm -hmm. uh, Microsoft, or is that the, like the customer's responsibility? Mm -hmm. I mean, in this case, it seems to be that the customer are running this, but yeah, the customer sets it up right I mean, for themselves in order. To yeah, exactly. So if I like um, choose to host my stuff at Amazon, can I expect them to be reliable, or do I have to run this kind of service myself to to make sure that it, it works as uh, I suppose? Yeah, you're supposed or, to run it yourself in order to make sure that hmm. it works as. Yeah, I guess this is for your your implementation on the servers yeah. that you're running. But I guess Amazon as well need to do this kind of stuff, but that's on a different level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't think Amazon can start a chaos monkey on their like <laughs> Amazon cloud, just kicking servers left and right. <laughs> so but I think it's more for your own service, service running on Amazon, I guess. But one that. of the implications is that actually the team has to be alert at all time. At all time, there's you can never relax. I mean, is this really a, a humane way of, is this really a humane methodology? But I mean, isn't it the opposite really? Because once we're sure that our system uh, survives a chaos monkey, yeah. we can't we just go home and sleep then because everything... Sh shut I off mean, our cell phones and relax for yeah. real. Yeah, mm -hmm. perhaps. I mean, mm -hmm. I guess... Isn't it, that the target at least? Uh, it mm -hmm. should be used like in the same way that you expect failures to happen in real life, of mm -hmm. course. You shouldn't, I, I can see that somebody will, maybe will overdo it and like putting too much stress on the maintenance team. Yeah. Like that. So, so it should be realistic, but otherwise, I mean, it, it's it's what you we can expect anyway, so it shouldn't really matter. I mean. Yeah, I can see we if, all the three of us, four of us smiled when we, we talked about it. So there's something <laughs> enticing about it. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? But, but I mean, it's like, it has, Chaos. Yep. There is a monkey, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, the, and there is uh, like testing and, and software and everything. It's yeah. like a lot of good stuff yeah. put into one. So it's, uh, it's, it's inherently just, fun. It's just not Google. That's what's lacking. And then but it will who be knows? Per perfect maybe, story. maybe Google has a chaos uh, parrot or, mm. or something. Mm. I don't know. No, you need monkeys. 
monkeys. Yeah. Okay. Maybe chaos, but, chaos yeah. parrot is just 50% yeah. of a chaos so, monkey. So, so Google has a gorilla, of course. Yeah. Gorilla. Like. Speaking of gorillas, uh, Apple uh, released... <laughs> we talked about last nice time, one. we talked about uh, iOS 6 and the iPhone 5. Uh, and we also talked about app, the Apple Maps. Uh, and after the release, Apple has come across a lot of critique for the new Apple Maps. Uh, so first of all, uh, do we think it, it's all that terrible? I, I don't know, I haven't tried it myself, mm. but uh, just judging from the pictures on the internet and what you have read, then, so it's, it seems kind of bad, <laughs> from yeah. a user experience at least. Mm -hmm. but uh, I was, I was if you compare, sorry, if you compare with uh, what was... Uh, Previously. Yeah, yeah. I, I've also seen those horror pictures, and but the only <laughs> only real uh, like uh, user feedback that I gotten is from from a Jammer, yeah. our, our Jammer, uh -huh. company Jammer, and and the people they're having a conversation there, and everyone's like, oh, have you seen the new maps? They're in three D. <laughs> <laughs> they just like this. They just see s straight through this like. Uh, uh, like lack of features and of um, detail and everything, but mm -hmm. they see the 3D new 3D feature. Mm -hmm. And I think if they have it, it's very smart to add a new feature. You have always when you when you uh, cripple something, you have to add something <coughs> to what <coughs> it. Or if you raise the price, even if it just adds a yeah. little thing, yeah. then people can motivate it for themselves in their okay. in their heads. So you mean the absence of, uh, for instance coordinates yeah. uh, is made up by 3d stuff or what? not 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 logically but but you need to have something positive to focus on even if you're a fanboy mm, i think okay. <laughs> and once you got that then you're you can agree to <coughs> maybe if you're a fanboy you need less of a of a pitch <laughs> mm. <laughs> but uh, what i think is very interesting here is this is obviously like a, a political uh move from apple yep. Uh, rather than so, rather than listening to the to, to customers and like looking at the customers best, it feels like uh, they're putting the Apple's best as a company, uh -huh. uh, uh, like first, and uh, that's kind of that's kind of strange uh, to do that. Do I we think say. that's an Apple like I mean, behavior? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we know that Apple has. I mean, there are uh, cases where that, uh, they are very like. Um, they they make up their mind and they go for for yeah. for the what they yeah, think. But that's usually the when they think that this is in your best interest. Yeah, exactly. The user, usually yeah. they have like the customer, the custom user experience yeah. always uh, uh, like they believing it. So so they they choosing a path. But in this case, it's kind of something different. It, it feels I, like, yeah. uh, I, I don't think they're they're doing it. I, I don't think they're dropping it because of that. I I think. Uh, it's more like uh, Google dropping Twitter search, for example, real-time Twitter search. Yeah. They had the Twitter integrated. They had a, a deal with Twitter, and I guess the deal just, I mean, you write a deal for two years, you write a deal for five years, and then mm -hmm. the deal's over, and uh, you have to renegotiate, and the, the price was too high, or something yeah. was not yeah. right, and then they decided to, I mean, they want to be independent. So Google, is their, uh, Google are the competitors. So they weren't, uh, I mean, five years ago, Google mm -hmm. weren't, Apple's biggest com competitor, but now they are. So, so do we think uh, I, 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 you talked about lack of features? So that's something I, I've been thinking about. Uh, so, do we think that is there a point where actually lack of features actually does decrease quality? Usually, we can say that uh, lack of features makes it easier <coughs> to to maintain quality. Mm -hmm. And some people, like uh, you, Henrik, uh, you think that. Uh, Keeping features down to a minimum mm -hmm. is a, a quality feature in itself. Yeah, but is there a, a, like a limit somewhere where you actually start decreasing quality? I think I mean the case here is that you had a bunch of features that was truly loved by the users, and then you remove them. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Maybe if I mean if this was the first app map application uh, that ever existed on yep. the iOS platform, maybe it was be considered to be pretty pretty okay so i think it it really depends on <coughs> if you're like removing features that you know the, the your customers uh, liked uh, or if you're like adding just a few new features mm -hmm. so so in general i think like having few few uh, good features is is uh, 
yeah. good way to go, but but in this case you're removing good features. Uh, on a, uh, <coughs> yeah, uh, on a darker note, I think uh, I think this is just a natural extension of the fact that Jobs isn't around anymore. Too, uh, I'm not sure if uh, if there is any uh, <coughs> truth in that, but. But the I don't, <coughs> and I'm not sure I, it's even even true that the, before the quality of of the Apple stuff was really good when it came out and it was, he was pretty relentless. pretty finished yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah and I can imagine him being like no we're not releasing these half-assed maps yeah. Yeah. Um, and, but now there isn't anyone but dominating but like yeah. that. Steve the keynote is tomorrow. No. no. Never. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah I can see yeah I can see that happening as well. Yeah, I, I actually I agree. I, I think that's maybe what's missing. It's uh, it's the uh, benevolent dictator, or mm -hmm. skip the benevolent. With, but, with but passion, he had yeah. because he had real yeah. passion. Yeah. But surely so they had better be a better deal from Google five years ago. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's also probably probably yeah. Google is probably using this. Uh, I mean, using they they're doing business. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But okay. they're not friends, like in the courtrooms either. So nope. It's like mm. <laughs> So, uh, uh, enough about Apple. Uh, I hope we stay away from Apple next time. Uh, so this now it's time for hit or miss. Uh, we'll have three different subjects, and we'll go through them quickly. And everybody here will say whether or not it's a hit or it's a miss. First of all, uh, a video that has been making its round on the internet. Uh, called devs blackberry is going to keep on loving you uh where basically the management of blackberry uh sings a long song to the developers is it a hit or miss henrik uh, it's a miss <laughs> it's both i mean it's like a greek uh, tra tragic comedy thing <laughs> <laughs> but oh my god <laughs> uh, it, it's a miss even though i think they're trying to be ironic it's still a miss i mean <laughs> Even though they they probably think it's uh, just a joke, it's still a miss. It's I don't know. It's <laughs> they, they, could, they could have a ten. They can ask their ten year old children mm -hmm. and ask, "Is this a hit or a miss?" Well, is this is this like a cool thing or is it not a cool thing? And they would say, "No, it's not a cool thing. This <laughs> sucks." <laughs> and, and that's how easy it is to tell. But from uh, for a uh, like fifty something manager, obviously it's not. It's no. hard to tell because they're out of touch. They are more, the more ten year olds. More ten year olds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would. I, I have to say, I, I don't know what it is actually. Uh, for me, it brings out uh, you know a level of uncomfort that. I haven't felt since I watched the first episode of The Office. No. Uh, <laughs> it's I, like, it's what <laughs> did the poor guy who yeah. made this up think? Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you realize they want to be ironic, yeah. uh, but they just <clears> don't pull it off. So it's like a double on top. It's I, really... I, it's kind of fun because I, my, my first uh, association when watching this is actually that uh, leaked Microsoft, uh, yeah. video, you know, the developer uh -huh. song or what yeah. it's called. So uh -huh. I agree. It's uh, kind of in the same uh, <laughs> category of like awkward uh, songs. So did did anybody say hit? No. Oh, Sorry. Oh. Too bad. Okay, next one is that uh, <laughs> Facebook is looking at <coughs> mobile advertising as a, a, a great source for revenue uh, and there is a push for mobile <coughs> advertising in general. But what do we think about it? Uh, Eric? I think it's a hit. Yeah, mobile is the new deal, so mm. you should put the ads there, but mm. in a clever way. Uh, yeah, so they, I mean, a few weeks ago we read that more Americans are reading Facebook online yeah. or on the on mobile yeah. than on desktop, so it's a hit. They, what, what should they do otherwise? They need yeah. they have to do? I mean, it's a, it's a hit for them, or it's a must, really, for them, yeah. so I guess. Yeah. It's uh, bad for us, maybe, or for the Facebook people, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I think we need advertising to pay for the free stuff we, we use. It's a hit. Uh, Dennis, do you have an opinion? Hit, definitely. Oh. They need to get money somewhere. Thumbs up for mobile advertising. Uh, and finally, uh, and this is not super confirmed, but uh, one of the managers <coughs> of... Twitter uh, indicated that by the end of the year, your tweets will be downloadable, uh, which is nice in a way because of data liberation and stuff. But 
actually downloading and saving your uh, tweets for posterity? What do we think? Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. You should. I mean, it's your data. You own it, so you should mm -hmm. have it. Yeah, sure. It's uh, whatever. It's a hit. I don't care. <laughs> uh, I, I believe in data liberation, but mm -hmm. I, I wonder how long it will take before some, you know, e-publishing company offers a service <laughs> where you can like automatically get a book with all your tweets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a new business idea. <laughs> yeah, it's a hit. It. it uh, I mean. <laughs> Data liberation is good, but but I want the other people's tweets. Can I have <laughs> it? <laughs> yeah. Dennis, what do you think? Uh, miss, what am I going to do with all my tweets? Say, you can have it. <laughs> well, you have the book uh, idea that Henrik. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I agree with Dennis. Uh, saving your uh, tweets wherever on your hard drive is like saving your farts in a can. <laughs> you don't ever want to open it. <laughs> so, big fat miss for me. And uh, on that bombshell, the end of uh, this week's uh, Unprepared Geeks. We'll be back in two weeks. Uh, <coughs> thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to uh, follow us, follow us at, at SmartBear on Twitter. And we'll save all the tweets forever and ever in jars and open up and, listen and smell them. Uh, and if you want to talk to us, use the hashtag UnpreparedGeeks. See you again in two weeks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.